Hello, this is Keith Brown and welcome to video 2, my head tracking system for first person video. Hey, in the last video I showed you the Memsec 2125. It was moving my servos in the X and Y direction, but I need the Z direction in order to continue. Um, it really helps for that realistic head camera movement. I was trying to use a cheap RC gyro to sense the Z axis movement. I thought that if I reverse the output, I would make the gyro accentuate the incoming signal and become my new Z axis. The amazing thing is, it worked. But it only worked if the gyro sensed constant movement. Once the movement stopped, the servo would reset itself to a neutral position. I really wanted to trick the circuit into becoming a three axis circuit. Okay, so that didn't work out too well. Remember all that jitter last video, the servos were really moving around and, and really weren't focused on one direction? All that noise really makes it hard to put a camera on. I knew I needed a gyro, but the fact of the matter is, I needed a Kalman filter. What's a Kalman filter? Good question. If you Google it, a Kalman filter really isn't as bad as it looks. Basically, it's a bit of math that constantly estimates. A recursive estimator. It takes the estimated value of the last measurement and the current measurement to predict its current state. So basically, instead of getting all that jitter, it's smoothing the rough edges. Let me show you what I upgraded to. Check out this bad boy. This is what I upgraded to. This is a 3-axis accelerometer. So I get the X, Y, and Z. And I have a 2-axis gyro. So I have X, Y smoother. I might have to add another gyro later on for the Z axis. This is the, the gyro I was talking about previously where if I moved it a little bit it would move but reset itself. So um, this is a good thing to have in an airplane for a stable flight environment but I haven't yet adapted it to my project. This is a good startup accelerometer but this is what we're using now. Let me show you how I wired it up. Okay, it's pretty simple. I'm using the Arduino and this is the Proto Shield. I have the accelerometer output going into Arduino input, the gyroscope output going into Arduino input. I'm supplying it with voltage and a ground source and all that's really left now is to write the software. Okay, I just loaded this software, and this is the Arduino, it's plugged into the computer, it has a pretty short, short cord, so uh, bear with me here. And let me show you in graphical representation what I'm talking about when I mean smoothing and common filters and all that. Let me show you. Okay, if I move this all crazy like, the red line is the actual input. And the blue line is the estimated path. So you can see how much smoother the blue line is to the red line. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, that was just a quick demonstration on using smoothing and filters. Next time, we're actually going to put these little guys into motion. I'll refine my software. And I'm going to see if I can get that infamous Z-axis to work, finally. Alright, stay tuned. See you next time.